Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rosalinda. My co-host, apparently, right here, Chiro. Cada vez que empezamos este vlog, aquí estamos en el carrito, juntos. Mm -hmm. But come with us to breakfast. We came to one of our favorite places. Well, absolutely yeah. my favorite place in Long Beach. Zuzu's. Oh, no. No puedo salir de aquí, Chiro. Okay, like I was saying, it's definitely one of my favorite breakfast places. Wichiro is kind of like, eh. Pero ya saben, el Wichiro, he's very, very critical of places he's parking. Uh, but yeah, so come with us. I'll show you guys everything I get. I really, really love this place. I already know what I'm going to get. Oh, I'm so hungry. So come and have breakfast with us. The lobster omelet. Omelet with no salad, add olive oil, your loaded burrito, and then one. Got a vanilla latte. Oh, what Oh, delish! My lobster omelet with Cheetos burrito. This burrito is actually really good too. You know, I was listening to some girls. They're from New York, and they said that the best breakfast burritos are in LA. That it doesn't compare. <laughs> and true. Provechito Chiro. You guys look before I left I got a strawberry matcha from there from Suzu's. It's really good. I just hope it tastes good this time. I only went one time and it was nasty. It was too milky, but let's see if it tastes delish. Right now we're doing some of Wichiro's errands, huh Wichiro? Yep. So but breakfast was delish. Did you like your breakfast? Yes, I didn't finish it. No. It's because you didn't want to be full. Is a really big burrito. I finished mine, but mine was like small. It wasn't that bad, but I feel like like good. I don't like to be overstuffed whenever I eat. Uh, like you're, you're supposed to listen to your body. Like once you feel like filled or like full, not full, more like satisfied. It's so satisfied. Like once you feel satisfied, like you should stop eating. Even if you don't finish your food. I feel like as Hispanics, we're pushed to like Comete toda la comida. Finish your plate. Yeah, finish your plate. And I feel like that's obviously that's how we were brought up. I was also brought up like that. My mom would tell me that, especially my grandma. Like they would tell us like you have to finish your whole plate. And I don't think that's like good to take into as like you become a teenager and adult because then you just overeat. That's why when people ask me like, oh, how do you do to lose weight? I always tell them that I have like small portions, like I don't have big old plates or anything like that and if I don't finish something I'll just leave it and I personally like to eat leftovers I like to heat them up I feel like they taste better some some stuff tastes better <laughs> like the next day but if I that's why I know like when we go places does it oh like we should share because we know it's like a bigger place right or when I make food like I'll just serve myself a little bit and then I'll finish that and afterwards I'm like oh I could probably eat a little bit more I'll, I'll serve myself more like that's how I do it and I think that that's the way it should be, right? Like when you serve when you serve somebody or even like your kids. Um, I love to see when moms put like what they give their kids and then what they put the picture of like what they ate or what they didn't eat. I think it's nice that sometimes they'll leave like food leftover and like you know, it's like, oh, they eat all of this and they left this. Like that's perfect, you know, because they ate what they wanted to eat and that's it and you don't push them to eat. I think that's also a thing that we kind of grew up with that we kind of need to like be conscious about it maybe change it so when you eat just try to be satisfied and then don't overeat because that also helps even with your metabolism as well but right now we are going to do some of Wichiro's errands we have to go to his school to get some what are you gonna get Chino? Uh, <laughs> Chino? what the hell dude this is a get my parking pass or YouTube uh, channel boy. <laughs> Just kidding, but I mean, if you do need condoms, most colleges give them to you for free. For free? Yeah, but we're gonna get his parking pass for school. Which he back at school, taking two classes. My little college, college man right here. <laughs> and then um, after that, I need to go to uh, what did I say? Target. Target and the Citadel. because I want to trade in one of my rings. So this is what I have right now. But you guys don't have my dance answer. It's right there. But I think I'm going to trade it in. We'll see, I'll show you guys the options. 
Look, that's the one that I already have the half a carrot, but then that was one carrot, and I was just trying to see if I can trade it in. And then we have another one of single leaves. Hello, and welcome back to the next day. I know you guys, I left you guys in the cliffhanger yesterday, but we'll talk later today once I get home or later on. But today or right now, count with me to run 18 miles. <laughs> okay, so this is the longest mileage mileage is that what you say? is the longest mileage of this a training session or a training block i don't know however you want to call it of my marathon training and uh, this is the most miles i have to run for it so we're doing it today i woke up a little late i really wanted to wake up earlier just to beat all the crowds and all the people like the park is super packed right now I had a park like on the other side so right now it looks empty because i'm like on the other side the other side's already fully packed so i'm just getting ready to go i honestly don't know how it's going to go i hope that it goes good and i'm able to finish um my knee was hurting me a little bit yesterday so i was doing a lot of recovery for my knee and i feel bad that i woke up late because then now i'm like oh my gosh i'm gonna spend like now it's gonna take me longer to finish not that it's gonna take me longer like that but i'm just like uh, i feel bad that i'm going to be running like not longer but just later but thank god right now the sun is still not out so it still feels good i'm wearing this long sleeve i don't know if i'm gonna have to take it off um once i get hot and then have to, and then i have this so i don't know we'll see how that goes but i'm kind of chilly right now so i want to keep it so i'm just getting all my stuff ready i have my water no, my water my like then i'm going to put my little snacks and stuff in here and then we're gonna go i don't know if i'm gonna bring you guys along for the whole thing i don't know if i'm gonna do like a reel or something but you guys will get a little bit of my 18 miles then for my like gels or my snacks my, i brought here yeah, smash they're just literally um what is this thing called the strawberry jam but this one's like way healthier for you it doesn't have all these other additives that usually the gels have that's why i don't like them i don't like gels so i'm gonna put these in here i brought two of those and then this honey stick last time i got one of these and i really really liked it and i just like how easy it was to just eat it so i got another one of these i forgot where i got these i think that's gross let's put that there chias over here and for good measure i'll take one that's it far just in case just in case i feel like maybe i need something else we'll see how i feel these are for after and then i like to chew gum i don't know it kind of just helps me so i'll take two of these once i start feeling like my mouth is dry i like to do gum good Let's go run 80 miles, girl. Mile. Mile two. Three miles. Mile four. Five miles. And I stop. Six miles. ended up the run girls on the floor which i never do i never flipping stretch or anything on the floor or the grass but i am flipping tired 
My legs are dead. So we finished it right here on the floor, on the side of the river bed. Yep. Now let's go get some more water and coffee, please, and a long nap. Hello. Okay, welcome back. I know I just left you guys again. I'm so sorry, but I'm just getting ready. Uh, we're probably just going to go get something to eat really quick. You guys, that run took me out. Like it took me out. I was a little sad about that. Um, that it was like a long. It was a hurtful <laughs> run. I was just sad about it. I dwelled on it. I put a little bit on Instagram that I was like hurting. Like it was like a tough run. I was hurting. My legs were really heavy and I was slow and I get upset now that like, I feel like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be that slow anymore. Like I've been consistently running for about a year. It'll be a year probably in September, like sometime in September. That's when I started training for the half marathon that I did at the beginning of the year. That's when I started training. So that's when I started like, you know, being consec, being like constant with my running. So it'll be about a year, but yes, I was sad and I dwelled on it. I did some recovery. I cried a little bit, but it's okay. We're over it now. I think it's okay. You know, like in like anything, like you're gonna have your good days and your bad days and this is just part of the training i think like it's just that um i just had a bad day you know no matter how much i prepare for it or how i felt like maybe my body just didn't want to go or maybe i did something wrong i don't know exactly but yes i was just a little upset that it was a little bit like hard run for me and yeah my time just the times the times the mile splits got to me and i was just having an emotional time <laughs> with it um but yeah like i said i just you know i just let it i let it consume me a little bit and then i did some recovery um like i took a shower and then i rested i took a nap i did the i got some i don't even know what they, those compression boots i got compression boots from costco i really really like them so far i feel like they help me like after a tough run like they released a lot of pressure from my legs so i like them i did that i iced my knees i did all of that and you know after i had a little cry and i laid down with my wichito um i think it, i it passed you know the moment passed the emotions passed but yeah i don't know i haven't felt like like anything during this training session like that you know like i'm always it's because now i feel like i'm putting more pressure on myself that i want to be fast or i want to have like a certain time so i'm definitely putting pressure on myself in that sense that i have to hit a specific time so whenever i see my times and they're slow they they're kind of getting to me now so when i was not putting a time on myself that's when i was having fun but i don't know i don't want to go back to that per se because i'm doing all this training and i wanted to to i wanted to have a goal for myself like obviously like just running 18 miles overall i know that that's just an accomplishment and i love that for me and um i like that i was able to do it but i didn't want to do it like struggling you know you get me um but it's okay we're gonna have bad days and it's all right so i'm gonna get past it i got past it but now uh i'm just getting ready we're going to get some food really quick but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys about my little day a little run it's a little hard you know to kind of get past it like anything you know like if you're struggling in something i just tend to get really emotional when i'm not good at things and i'm just competitive with myself but I need to give myself some grace, you know? I have to remember that. And that's what we're doing now. So I was okay. I let myself feel out those feelings. And, and now we're moving past it. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow is my completely rest day. I don't do anything. I do work, but I don't do um, any strength training or any running at all. So I think my body will have a really good recovery for tomorrow. But then on Monday, I have a race. I have run or conquer the bridge is this race in a san pedro if you're by like if you're in la long beach area you know the san pedro bridge is this huge bridge that um crosses over i think like long beach and san pedro well girl i thought it was a 5k like just a regular old 5k but you're doing it on the bridge well it's five miles i guess that is how long this bridge is 
Ooh. Like it's just long. I think you we're gonna run it up one way and then run it back the other way. So yes, it's five miles, so not a 5k. <laughs> and that's gonna be all the pill. But I think it'll be good for one of my training days to be that. This upcoming week I'm doing 16 miles as my long run. So we're we decreasing a little bit, but it'll be good to get that like kind of uphill or like hill workout and like kind of fast because I'm trying to go faster than my usual run. So I think that would help. It's a good race. So I'm doing that on Monday. So it's good that today, it's good that on Sunday I am having, you know, a rest day. So yeah, the, um, the other thing that I wanted to update you guys on was my ring. Uh, when I was like trying on the rings and stuff, I, the guy was there and I totally forgot to show you guys. But you guys know my engagement ring uh, or my wedding ring is the solitaire that I have, this one. And when we got this one, I got an enhancer with it because we just got it at the same time. And so the enhancer is the other ring that I have that's like rose gold and has little diamonds on the top and the bottom. And then the the solitaire goes inside of it and so it enhances your your solitaire so that's what i've had however it's been giving me problems because it's rose gold and i don't know if it's reacting to my ph my balance um and it's giving me like black is leaving me is leaving my finger black and i'm like this is supposed to happen with real gold but apparently this happens with rose gold because it has like copper in it it's kind of like just like a reaction from the chemicals that you use and i don't use any chemicals even my lotions but i think it's just my ph or it could be i do use um zinc uh sunscreen it could be that i don't know so i wanted to go to sales to see if we can upgrade because the thing is with sales if you have diamonds you can upgrade them or you can trade them in however the trick is that if you're gonna trade it in, it has to be double the price of what you paid. So if my solitaire was like, if my the ring, if the enhancer was like, I think the enhancer was seven hundred dollars. So I have to get something that's a fourteen hundred, and they'll deduct seven hundred, but I still have to pay for the other seven hundred. But I guess the thing is that you're upgrading, so you're getting more, something more, right? And it is true, I am getting something more because the other one that I would be getting would be this one so we tito gave me this band to add to my stack this valentine and this one is um half a carrot and so i like to stack it together like when i had my solitaire when i when i had my enhancer i would put the enhancer and then i would put this one at the bottom and i think it looked really cute and i just like the whole stack so i wanted to trade in for this one but since this one is cheaper <laughs> then the it's not double it's not like that is so much more cheaper it's just that it's not the double price it's basically the same price they won't do it like i can't trade it in because it has to be doubled so there is one that is one carat but i would still pay a thousand dollars so i was like man no i don't want to pay right now and they always have sales so i decided to just send in my enhancer to get like sort of like uh like a really deep clean because that's part of your warranty and everything you can get a really deep clean in your rings so i send it in to see if maybe that would help so we're gonna see how that goes but since i'm past like my 30 day or 90 days warranty thing like if anything happens like they would just give you a new one or whatever so i'm past that because i've already had it for two years um the only thing that i can do is upgrade so i can upgrade or i can keep it whatever you know so we're gonna try this and see what happens. But for the meantime, I'm just gonna wear my rings like this. I think this is cute. This looks cute, but I think it would have looked cute if I was able to get another band and then put it on top. And then I just like changing my stacks, like stacking up my rings. I just think they're really cute, like like that, like having how I had the other stack and sometimes I feel like this. However, I never size this to smaller size. It fits me big. Like, look, it fits me really big because in the enhancer if i would have made it smaller it would have not fit so i had to keep it bigger so it could fit in the enhancer i got this one size when i got it so this one fits perfect this one just fits a little bit loose so if i were to get another another band it would just go on top and it'd also be cute i don't know i'm like really attached to the enhancer too because me and wichiro got that together and you know we went and we did it for my upgrading of my rings i think at our 10 years so yeah i don't know we'll see what happens i'll keep you guys updated but for now i'm just going to wear them like this and 
hopefully we can solve the issue if not then i think i'm just gonna have to upgrade it but maybe we can wait a little bit they always have those sales right now they're like half percent half off but they always have sales at sales so i never worry too much about like oh maybe i won't get this one like they always do girl they always do they always say oh we don't have them. yes you do like they've been having when i got this band they was for around Wednesday, and they already had a 50 percent off and then they're like oh it doesn't happen girl it already happened like two times <laughs> like for mother's day and for um valentine's day they already had it 50 percent off so yeah don't worry if you're looking for something as else just wait for it for like a big holiday and they'll have like 50 percent off sales so yeah that's what i like that's why i like the sales but we'll see what happens um but overall i hope that you enjoyed this vlog i know that we close it up by me talking a lot a little bit chatting up with you guys which i always love to do but i hope that you still enjoyed the rest of the vlog thank you so much for coming back thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye